I'm gonna be making a third tier to this container right here. But talk about this bin. This bin, what we're gonna do is drill one million holes. One million here. holes. One million holes. This is the nursery bin. Whoa! Endless amount above. Look at that. We have everything we possibly need to go ahead and upgrade this filtration. Joey Slam. What up, Slayers? We're back at it with another Slay Venture, and today is the day we finally accomplished what I've been trying to do for my pond, and that is upgrade the filtration. Now, as you guys can see, the pond is nice and crystal clear, guys. I think you see it with the lenses, but it's nice and crystal clear. Everyone's doing great. Everyone's growing up to be the best version of themselves, guys. And with that being said, I'm gonna look over here. I want to show you guys what I have over here. Now, I have some noodles, I have some PVC pipes, I got some biological media that's movable. In here, I have a trash can that has tons of biological balls. I mean, endless amounts of balls. Look at that. We have everything we possibly need to go ahead and upgrade this filtration. I'm gonna be making a third tier to this container right here. Through this system, I'm making a third tier. I have one here which has all my biological and movable media. I'm gonna recreate the exact same thing I have here, but with the third one, it's gonna be one, two, and then three, which will be better for the fish, as well as I can add bigger and better fish to this pond. Now guys, I have my boy Wow with the photo behind the camera. Go ahead and show yourself real quick. Yeah, yeah. What's going on, guys? So with my boy, we went ahead and made a huge little trap. Was it a container? What, what was you end up calling it? It was a nursery cage, boy. A nursery cage where he can go ahead and nurture babies to grow up to be nice and big, as well as nurture fish that were injured in regards to transfer to their new home or being bullied because of aggression in the tanks. So I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing, but not the one Wild Wild Authority made, which you guys should check out, because that one's really, really cool. I'm gonna be making one out of a 50 gallon bin. Whoa. Yeah, we're gonna be drilling a billion holes into this, making it nice and secure for the babies, as well as maybe even put my tire shovel nose in there to see if I can get them to eat, or buy some babies and then add them in here so that I can raise babies at the same time so they're comfortable in this pool pond. Then I can go ahead and eventually add them into this giant pond. So with that being said, guys, let's just get right into it and have some fun. Oh my God. What happened? So many black balls. Just throw that away. <laughs> my boy, Joey Sam loves black balls. What are you doing? <laughs> Bags of them. Oh my god. <laughs> so what we have here, these are bio balls that I put in laundry bags. What we're having Wild World of Party do right now is open up all the bags for these bio balls. We're actually gonna only need that one big bag. Probably. Big bag. probably yeah. yeah. You can just put it out, load it up, load it up. So guys, this is kind of gonna be a little all over the place, but in the end you're gonna see it all work out. Oh god. You're just dropping my balls, aren't you? Uh, here you go. Coming in. Yeah, close to the <laughs> So here are more movable media, tons, which we'll be putting in bags. We have another big bag. I think we're just gonna use that big bag and put that movable media in that bag too. So. And then we'll just load this whole thing up and I'll put an air stone in here to recirculate the whole thing. But dude, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice to have that extra source of biological media. Makes my fish happy, less I have to worry about because I will be going on vacation soon. I'll be talking about that very soon. It's gonna be crazy. I think you're gonna be able to take care of my stuff, buddy. Yeah, I appreciate it, appreciate it, appreciate it. So guys, um, we're gonna wash all of this just to get any dirt out, as you all can right, see. this is the big ball sack, it's good oh. to go. <laughs> all the balls in there, we're good. Yeah, so that's why we have to clean it, because that would have been inside the pond and that would have been no bueno. No bueno. So yeah, we're gonna wash everything off, rinse it off, good to go, rinse these guys off too. Got you. Put everything inside the bags. And I'm gonna use this bag for the blue ones? No, use this bag for that one. Oh, for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we should be good. And then, oh, I have the cinder blocks too. The cinder blocks are gonna be for here. So I'm gonna make it a different system, kind of. We still need gravity to help us out here. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna turn out. It's gonna turn out really nice, bro. I've never actually seen it. Well, I saw it on the YouTube channel, but in person. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty sweet. So what I'm gonna do is actually use gravity to my favor. I'm gonna add another cinder block here. So it's gonna be five tiers high, yeah. then four tiers high, then three. So and it's just gravity, 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 and it's just gonna be the same thing. This guy is gonna be the last. This is gonna be the last thing that gets touched. Yeah. So then the water comes out of here. This is my return, and then the intake is gonna be the, the new one. Okay. The new one's gonna be the intake. I got you. And the old one is gonna be the second that goes through the biological, and then that. If that makes sense. Makes sense. I think it makes sense, guys. But we're gonna be working on it. And top of that, 
we're still gonna have fun and make that little DIY nursery thing yeah, yeah. that Wawa well, the Farley and I helped do together and everything like that. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going. I'm kind of tired. I was out fishing with Catch 'em All Fishing and. Was, oh, my bad. Boy, you're a pharmacist. You're, still, you're, you're helping other people. We're gonna do a lot of fishing, guys, in the future yeah, and everything yeah. like that, especially with Wawa the Farley yeah, and myself. Yeah. So it'll be a lot of fun with Catch uh, big fish. Big fish with Papa Slam and everything like that. So we have everything here. Like I'm, tr I'm gonna show you guys again. If you didn't see it before how to create your own little do-it-yourself system with a trash can so it'll work out for the best how you doing baby come up you want to come up for everybody it's so darn cold no one wants to come up except teddy hey baby you want to come you got the clearest pool pod in the game yeah it is pretty clear this is amazing thanks buddy I'm not even gonna lie. look at that oh well we can do something for you but i, I just love that lake water i won't even waste my time you know yeah because the fresh pool of water but this is beautiful. You can actually see the fish. Yeah, that's true. Everyone's here. Come here. Come, girl. Aw, oh, she's a little, she's a little prissy today. But while he's doing that, I'm gonna talk about this bin. This bin, what we're gonna do is drill one million holes. One in million here. holes. One million holes in here, so water can go in and go out. I'm also gonna be putting an air stone so it can constantly have movement in here getting rid of any poop or anything from the little fish. And this is for your... This is my nursery cage, like oh, you. Yeah, yeah. It's a bin nursery cage as well. So it's gonna be pretty interesting, but we have to get all of these holes. We're gonna drill that. I'm not really gonna show most of it, but it's gonna take a while. We're gonna put holes here and here and here, but not too big that whatever we put inside swims away, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. As well as nothing in here to get inside. inside of here, you know what I'm saying? But it's gonna be very similar, zip ties, noodles. It's gonna be, it's gonna be really weird. You can't see it now, yeah. but I mean, well, we see it. I see it. But the Slayers can't really see it until it's done. You know what I'm saying? So stay tuned for that. We're moving that around. And like I said, it's gonna be a little all over the place, but it will work itself out and you're gonna see why we love what we do. Exactly. This is the nursery bin. Now I have a three quarters of an inch drill bit here. I forgot exactly the name of this tool, but I love it. I always use it. It's similar to some of the tools I use for our filtration systems here. But watch your hands real quick while we're the farley. <laughs> Drill several different holes here for maximum water flow. I don't know why I said it like that. But I'm gonna keep going back and forth. We've been at it for a while. Ollie actually has been working pretty hard on the opposite side. I'm gonna continue going back and forth. And I also recommend if you guys do that, get yourself a little blade just like so so that you can take off the excess just like this so your fish don't get hurt if you're gonna be using this. See how it works just flawlessly? Just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth so that all that excess plastic cannot hurt your fish. So you have to be very careful. See, look at all this excess. Oh yeah, baby. there you go. All right, cool. So we're gonna continue working on this. This should be done very soon. And we're gonna continue working on our filtration at the same time. What we're gonna do right now is I have my drill bit. This is gonna help me put my bulkheads in here. About one and a half inches of what I'm using. And I'm just gonna drill right here. Just gotta eye it out. Usually eye out everything. Should be just right about here. Oh. There you go. We're done with that hole. Let's clean that up for a second. Should be good to go. And now we have to test if the bulkhead fits which I hope it does, should fit just nice and tight. Yep, okay, unscrew this, just like so. Oh, come on, back and forth. This is gonna take us 10 years to unscrew, but guys, we're looking good so far while the part is working on something. That I'll be showing you guys Stay soon. You don't even give me a drill bit. I gotta use this knife and make these holes. Oh, that'd be impressive if you did all that. But here, guys, look. As you can see, it's perfect. Perfect for the perfect for the bulkhead. Now I need to do two more to replicate what I have going on behind me. We should be good to go, guys. We're good to go. Perfect. So we have our three holes. Let me make sure. We have our three holes. We're good to go now for the bulkheads. Now comes the plumbing, which is the fun part because we've got to figure it out. All right, guys. So as you can see, we've been working really hard and diligently. Working hard. That's <laughs> another statement. That's something else I've been working on right there. I'll be talking about that soon. But we have the bulkheads inside ready to go. Time to plumb and time to add our plumbing. So I have this two inch drain here. Can you take that out real quick for me? Yeah, yeah. Now I also have a two inch pipe that okay. goes into there. Okay. 
if you actually pull that part off as an adapter that converts it into one and a half inch piping, which is perfect for my bulkheads, that's the thing you guys have to be very aware of, that you gotta make sure you get the right adapters and everything depending on your bulkheads. Now, see, here's a two inch pipe. I have 45 degree elbows here, which in turn should fit right there. Is it right here that it fits? Perfect, yeah, perfect. It actually fits, but the thing is, the issue that I'm having is you're not gonna be able to put that right there. You need one inch tubing. So if you turn this around, take this off for me, I have something pre-built here as a test dummy. Just take that off for me, it's that 45 degree. Here is one and a half inch tubing now yeah. on that one and a half inch adapter. Okay. You put the one and a half inch there. Bam. You go, male, female, you just insert and have fun and then insert that one into the female stuff. Big fit. And there you go, that's one. So I'm gonna have three of these. This one's gonna go straight out. These two are gonna be curved so that there's enough room, so nothing's gonna be hindering. Water's gonna be draining here. And they're roughly about the same level. This one's a little bit lower, which is fine, but these will hang low as well. And if there's more water coming out, it'll just flow out faster. But this is the all three. Here are all three of them. And what I'm gonna do is before cementing them with PVC cement, mm. I just wanna go ahead and build them, make sure they're good to go. I agree. And yeah, because once you cement everything, you can't uncement it, especially so, with the bulkheads. Game over. Yeah, game over. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna build the remainder of these things. I have all the pipes. I, I can show you guys if you guys want. Should we show them? Of course. Okay. We? Yeah, you're right. So we'll just go ahead and put all this stuff together and uh, awesome. not break our hands. Not me. So the time has come where we actually have to move the filtration. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, and we're good. Okay. Get this back good. on here. Should sit nice and flush now. Make sure it's nice and low. It's good. While we have this off, too. I'm thinking we change these filter pads. Oh. These fish have been Oof. doing some work as you guys can see. Perfect. Oh, this is a little bit. We're good. We're good. This is it? Yeah. We're solid. Yeah, yeah. We're good. Woo! <laughs> this thing is heavy. We'll be right back after a brief message from Farley. Guys, how are you guys doing today? It's your boy Wild Wild Farley. Guys, if you haven't already, check out my page. But of course, check it out after you finish watching this video. Now back to Joey Slayer. All right, Slayer. So we finally finished moving everything. It's looking pretty good. It's pretty crazy, actually. This is going to be where the main filtration will begin, then leading to secondary filtration, then leading to, last but not least, the movable media, which then is my return. So it's going to be a three-step filtration system now, which will be good. Then in the future, I'm gonna be building a massive bathtub here. Just just always upgrading, you know, never keeping everything the same. Um, I have this extra set of cinder blocks that I wasted my money on, so we're gonna throw that in the trash or just have fun smashing it in a video for fun if you want to, we'll do that. Um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is actually seal and cement the PVC pipe for the main filtration. And then I also have these guys here who are rinsed, they're good to go. The black balls, I got the blues, the whites, and then I got the white movable media. Don't discriminate. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is just let this dry and we should be good to go, my brother. Ah! While we are letting that PVC cement dry, we are working on this cage, this do-it-yourself bin cage nursery to raise babies for the future pond and everything like that. So while we're the party suggested, we go ahead and put a net here instead of that lid, which is a good point. I would like I to go ahead and see, see exactly see what's in babies. here and how everything's doing. So we actually drilled holes right here. As you guys can see, we drilled holes right there and there. And we got nuts and bolts, stainless steel, of course, so there's no rust. And we're gonna be laying a net this net actually over here, is it here? Hello? Yes, this net that I got from Wildwood the Farley over here so that nothing can go in and nothing can come out. We have a bolt and two nuts on each side so we can keep it up nice and high and be able to stretch out that net flawlessly. So, good idea Wildwood the Farley, my friend. Teamwork makes a dream work. That's guys. right, baby. Farley suggested instead of cutting this noodle in half and actually trying to fasten it on top of here, let's just drill a hole like we did and put a zip tie on it like we did. That will also help with putting the net. As you guys can see, look at the net job right here. That wow, what well, we did, perfect. We have our nuts and bolts. We have everything we need to make sure whatever's inside is not gonna jump out and nothing's gonna jump in. I don't know why I have this dirt on. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna drill right here, basically, ah. Oh no! Right around there. Perfect. We put it over. Zip tie right there. That's it. We're good to go. Whoa! Guys, 
have a little power tool. We are actually blowing all that excess plastic out of here so that we can finally put this to the test. Wow, we're the farther. You ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Doo -doo. And we wait. Hey, it floats. And now it sinks. Oh, yeah. Oh. And we are good. Oh, oh, that is so sick. It floats. It's perfect. Nice. So we're taking off this net right now. So we can add this type of show that's in here. Again, guys, it's a safety net to make sure any fish he adds in here does not jump out. Yeah, 100%. All right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Now we're going to catch this guy. I'm going to use a smaller net. This guy's actually a lot bigger than I thought. Alright, here we go. And got him. Okay, let me put it. Let me put it. Let me put it. Let me put it. Same water, same everything. He's in the container. He's good to go. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> you did it. So, Slayers, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the channel. Become a Slayer. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Booyah.